Hi, we're from Green Dream Group. My name is Corbett Lunsford. My name is Grace Lunsford. And we're going to be working on weatherizing doors. Right now we're working on a door that seems like it's an inside door when actually... Leads to the, the attic. attic. Now, a door that leads from the attic into shared living space can really be a big heat waster. So let's see what it looks like under infrared. You can see very clearly the dark area, which means cold, next to the light area, which means warm. The door is 58, and the air that's coming in from underneath it is 42 up here. Plus, there's a dark band all the way around the door jam. The solution to this is weather stripping. So we're going to weather strip this door and make sure that the nice warm air that you've paid to heat up stays inside. All we'll need for this project is weather stripping, which you can buy that's self-adhesive, so you don't have to nail it on. We've got a self-adhesive door bottom, which is also called a door sweep and cleaning materials. Okay. Now this door is not super tight. It has quite a bit of leeway. So we're going to need a little bit of a thicker weather stripping to make sure that it gets a tight seal. If you put a thin one on there, it might not catch and really form a nice tight seal. So while Grace is cleaning the door jam, I'm going to explain where we're putting this weather stripping. So after you. OK. Weather stripping goes where two things come together. And this is there's a trick to this. In order to make a seal, it's going to go onto the facing edge here that's in contact with the door where the door closes. On the hinge side of the door, the weather stripping does not go on the facing edge because here the door closes like that. So the weather stripping goes on this facing along the hinge. You can see here we've got uh, just a, a little bit of a lip. That's probably a third of an inch. So we can't use this big old strip for example. But we do want a thick one because as we saw there was a, um, it, the door is loose. So we're going to use this, which is a thinner version. We want to make sure it's nice and clean so that the adhesive holds. And also, you really know that this has been a leaky door because you can see all the dust that has been collected over, over time. is Which is from air traveling through this space. So we're going to Take this very easy peel and stick weather stripping and start all the way down at the bottom, make sure, making sure to get into the corners so that there's a firm seal all the way around the perimeter of the door. This is a closed cell foam weather stripping that we're using. You wouldn't want to use open cell because it allows air to move through it a little bit more freely and also it's uh, generally the cheapest kind you can buy and will need to be replaced much more often. Right there. And again, we're putting it here along the hinge edge of the door because that is where the door is closing. And now when we close the door, it should be a little bit resistant and form a nice tight seal while also being able to catch at the lock. One last thing to apply is the door sweep at the bottom to make sure that air is not getting in along the bottom of the door. And then you want to make sure that it's going to contact the carpet or the floor underneath it when the door is closed. And unfortunately, we've got carpet here that's kind of lumpy. It's a Berber. So we're going to put it on the other side. Now that we have the weather stripping around the edge and the door sweep at the base, the door is completely sealed. And here's the same door through infrared after the weather stripping and the door sweep has been installed. And you can see that the air infiltration has been reduced significantly.